and we're both from the Department of Dermatology. Tonight is a cultural night for Makati Medical where we have five departments that are co-hosting this evening's uh, concert. One are the Department of Dermatology that's there sitting right there. So please stand up, all of you who are from the Department of Dermatology. Okay, please. The next is, and heading this actually, spearheading this, are, is the Diamond Club. Let me give you a short introduction. The Diamond Club are the young doctors, like Mike Saldran, who just raised his arm, who started this hospital when he was 19 years old now. So anyway, way back in 1969, when Dr. Manahan began this, and we have the privilege of having his son here, him and the other doctors are still alive, 70 years and older, are the members of the Diamond Club. So I'd like to ask the members who are here, Dr. Halbuena, Dr. Uh, yes. <laughs> and Mike, can you please stand up? Everybody who's a member of the Diamond Club, please stand up. There. Well done. George, yes. Very honored members of Makati Medical Center. And the other one is the Department of Division of Medical Education, headed before by Dr. Damaso, but now is headed by Dr. Sonia Bang Bongala. And it is also has, it heads the section of ethics, because ethics is very important in the practice of medicine, and also of culture, because culture is very important for us to know the depth of our emotions as well as those of our patients so that we can get together and be able to deliver the best kind of medical care beyond the technology that is so rampant today. So that's the division of medical education. I don't think she is quite here, but anybody who's a member of the medical division, please stand up. She's late, she went to the DOH. Then the fourth group are, who is it? Uh, help me. Your other guests, uh, your other the, friends of Makati yeah. Med. Friends of Makati Medical who have been uh, taking care, have been having themselves taken care of in Makati Medical Center are also here. Okay. And so, of course, before we forget, we need to, uh, it's not as if you don't know yet, it's the birthday of Dr. Beraglio. So uh, we would like to, we are honored. Uh, by your presence, thank you, and uh, we thank Dr. Veraglio for making it possible to arrange this concerto. Thank you, Gail. And of course, uh, the committee, yes. Okay, so the first, can we ask Johnny, Dr. Johnny Disunon is our medical director of Makati Medical, please, to start the opening prayer. Let us bow our heads and place ourselves in the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord, we stand before you in humble prayer before we start with this piano concert. We realize that without your blessings, we would not be able to succeed with the plans we have. Bestow your grace and divine wisdom to all of us present here so we could cooperate and enjoy camaraderie and love for the greater glory of your name. Bless our artists, that the talent that you bestowed on them will draw us closer to you as we listen to their music. Bless our hospital as we celebrate our 50th founding anniversary. May we continue to care for the health of the Filipino in the next 50 years. Bless people around the globe that they may enjoy peace and the goodness of your love. We ask all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And bless Dr. Viraglio. Let's all uh, greet her. Happy birthday, Dr. Verms. One, two, three. I repeat after you. Happy birthday, Dr. Verms. Okay. Wow, thank Good you. evening, everyone. Okay. 80. 80th birthday. Okay. All right. So the next part of the program is um, uh, you would want to welcome. 
Yes, I would like to now ask Dr. Damaso to come up, please. Dr. Damaso believed in me and made me a member ahead of the section of culture. <laughs> so I'd like to thank you very much for trusting me for that. And he is now also the head of the group that is celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Makati Medical Center. Happy birthday, Doctora. And what a better way to, to celebrate it than having Ingrid here. Uh, as she said, we are celebrating our 50th year this year. And we have lined up several activities, festive activities, to make this a happy year for us. We cannot do this without Ingrid, without Miss Santa Maria being part of this activity. She's the one who brought culture here with, of course, uh, the help of Dr. Averaglio here, Vermin. Uh, together, we, we had the Department of Ethics and Culture that was created by Dr. Gustilo, and uh, we saw to it that it would grow and bring culture to Makati Med. And it was Miss Santa Maria who really brought it here. She, uh, if I'm right, we must have had already about 15 to 18 concertos here in the, since 1992. And I tell you, I always bring my family, my friends here, because we really enjoy it. It's really a fantastic experience. And tonight, I would like to share that with you. Share this fantastic experience, and you will all be very happy. You leave this place very happy, and remember, this is our fiesta. So join us in this happy occasion, and let us welcome Miss Santa Maria. Not yet. We would Not yet. <laughs> we would like to honor also the presence of uh, our former DOH Secretary, uh, uh, Mr. Enrique Ona. Uh, please stand up. Thank you. Raul, Raul Sunico. And also, Raul Sunico is another stalwart in the in piano, sitting very quietly at the back. Raul, please stand up. I invited F. Shonil Jose, and he said he was coming. He may be late, but when he says he will, he will. So we'll expect him to, uh, to appear somehow sometime in the evening. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we, uh, the Department of the of Dermatology, Makati Medical Center, which I'm a part of, um, we are, I wouldn't know, maybe 40 at least consultants, headed by a chair, our chairman. We would like to uh, call on our beloved chairman, um, current chairman, Dr. Valerie Herbosa, Floro Herbosa. Sorry. Okay. Please welcome. Thank you, Dr. May again, Dr. Veralio, and happy birthday again, Doctora, my mentor. Thank, uh, looking forward to this evening. Sorry, I have to use my my codigo. So, good afternoon, fellow MMC physicians, Dr. Santa Maria, our string quartet, visitors, and friends. Much like the subspecialties in our field of medicine, music has its own cognizant to the arts and culture that we are all about to experience during this evening's musical journey. One of our guests this afternoon is an ensemble of four instrumental performers basic to the use of strings. The finesse and skill that is required to achieve the harmony of this artist to produce exquisite music run parallel to what the physicians at Makati Medical Center try to achieve, most especially in our young doctors in training. Holistic, comprehensive, and global in our professional and cultural lives as well. It is with great pride to introduce our guest artist, the Peace Philharmonic String Quartet, composed of present members of the Manila Symphony Orchestra, escorted by our dermatology residents. May we call on Ms. Sara Maria Gonzalez.
first violin escorted by Dr. Fran Gaston. She is currently the associate concert master of the Manila Symphony Orchestra and started her training as a scholar of the Salvador and Pilar Sala Foundation in Cebu and is now one of the leading violinists in the country. We have Maria Monica Bacos. May we call on Maria Monica Bacos, please? Second violin, escorted by Dr. Marianne Macapagal. Ms. Bacos is a member of the Manila Symphony Orchestra and is a senior student at the UST Conservatory of Music. Next, we have Ms. June Philip Ong. She will play the viola, escorted by Dr. Philip Larena. Ms. Ong plays both violin and viola with the Manila Symphony Orchestra. She is currently a Master's of Music candidate at St. Scholastica Academy. Next, we have Mr. Arnold Josue, who will play the cello, escorted by Dr. Katrina Torno. And he is the principal cellist of the Manila Symphony Orchestra and is a professor at the UST Conservatory of Music. Our guest artists are part of the ensemble that won the first prize at the 12 Summa Cum Laude International Music Festival in Vienna last year. And now, may I hand over the mic to our beloved Doctora Viraglio to introduce our beloved Doctora Ingrid Sala Santa Maria. Thank you so much, Sval. Thank you very, very much. So now, let me tell you a little story about Ingrid. We go a long way back. Uh, I was maybe 10 years old. I was, uh, her, I, I studied under her, his, her mother, Mrs. Pilar Sala, in Batig Piano School, way back when we were kids. I'm always, I was always kind of, you know, rambunctious. But um, Ingrid, believe it or not, was so shy. You'd find her in the bathroom hiding because she didn't want to come and be with the, the rest of the group. This was how shy she was. And yet, we became friends. And through these years, I went on to become a doctor, went abroad. We kept in touch with each other, as she, on the other hand, became this big time pianist. Ingrid has played all over the world. She's been playing with orchestras in Japan, in Hong Kong, as invited guests by the orchestra there. She's been in many other places around the world. She even went to also to Florida, and at one time she came and visited us in our home in Maine. She comes, all the, she comes with a fantastic um, arsenal as far as music concertizing. But that's not enough. What she did in 1991 to 2001, she decided it was time to be able to pass on this passion for music in the piano by developing a children's youth symphony orchestra. She tried to get the uh, policemen and she tried to get the firemen and found out that the discipline there was not that good at all. So she got little kids and little kids they were by 2001, they had a full Children's Youth Symphony Orchestra of Cebu, the very first in the country. I think a couple of the young ones are graduates from that or graduates of teachers who graduated from uh, that Children's Youth Symphony Orchestra. And now all over the country as a sign of how people just need to be tutored and mentored about how beautiful music is in the classical way She's now being invited to help develop more children's youth symphony orchestras across the country. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm very, very proud of my friend, my childhood friend. I'd like to ask you all to give her a round of applause. Ms. Ingrid Sala Santa Maria. Escorting, uh, 
Lucy. Yes. As much as we know that uh, the audience um, knows a lot about piano concertos and obviously very cultured, uh, Makati Med, like Dr. Aberallo has said, is very uh, focused not just on medicine but as a well-rounded institution, a well-rounded doctor, both in the arts and um, science. We would like to introduce somebody, um, a professor of music himself to help us annotate, meaning talk about the concertos that the group will be playing tonight. Okay. Uh, a little bit of a background. Uh, Professor Jonathan Arevaloku, a prize-winning concert pianist, has been praised for his artistic playing and innovative teaching as an educator in the Philippines. He has also written for publications and served as an editor. He is founder of the Adventist Philharmonic Orchestra Development Program and has served on the board of the Piano Teachers Guild of the Philippines and the Ibarang Arts Foundation. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm applause to a very accomplished pianist, musician, writer, editor, professor, mentor, and all-around multi-awarded, talented artist, truly proud to be Filipino, Professor Jonathan Arevalo Ku. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you are all waiting for Dr. Ingrid Santa Maria to play, so I'll be short. Uh, well, first of all, I I always emphasize that now we should call her Dr. Ingrid Santa Maria because she was given an honorary doctorate degree by De La Salle University for music education. And I know I'm in a room full of doctors, but at, uh, in music, we also do have uh, a, a doctor of musical arts. In fact, my professor at St. Paul University, Manila, Dr. Raul Sunico, is also here with us. Now, um, you're probably wondering why the quartet is called Peace Philharmonic um, Orchestra String Quartet. Well, the three uh, ladies who are playing are all, uh, they all came from the Cebu Youth Symphony Orchestra. That was the, uh, the orchestra development program of, of Dr. Ingrid. And the cellist was uh, actually one of their professors there. Now, um, this 10-year development program, after the 10-year development program, Dr. Ingrid started her romantic piano concerto journey, uh, journey which um, together with uh, Professor Rinaldo Reyes, they traveled all over the Philippines and even in Asia and in the US and played romantic piano concertos. She has practically practically played all, all the famous romantic piano concertos and even recorded it with the Manila Symphony Orchestra. Chopin, as uh, we are going to hear tonight, is actually not known as an orchestral composer. And uh, in fact, most of Chopin's works are just for solo piano. But his two piano concertos are as uh, good as the other symphonic works. In fact, just a little background of this uh, concerto, Chopin played, he, he was the one who premiered this uh, piano concerto before he left Poland because of the political turmoil in, in Poland at that time. And in seven weeks later, he also performed this, premiered this in Paris, in France. Dr. Ingrid Santa Maria 
um, started the Romantic Piano Concerto Journey. And 10 years after that, she again created a new genre. And that is playing the piano concerto with the string quartet. This is quite rare and unique in its setting. So instead of uh, listening to an orchestra, we hear the string quartet and the, and the piano um, answer. Uh, uh, we hear the string quartet and the piano just like a, a concerto, but in a simpler form. But it gives uh, this Chopin concerto even a grander grander outlook because of all the technical difficulties of this concerto. This concerto has three movements, and uh, to tell you the truth, um, for the pianist, there is no rest for, for this uh, particular concerto, because even in the, in the slow movement, the piano has a lot of uh, technical difficulties. Later, later on, I will talk about the second piano concerto which uh, Dr. Santa Maria will be playing. So ladies and gentlemen, let us uh, again give a round of apl applause to Dr. Ingrid Santa Maria and the Peace Philharmonic Quartet. Lastly, before we begin, I fail to acknowledge the escort of our Dr. Ingrid uh, Santa Maria, uh, Dr. Agrippino Benjavier. He is the current president of the Medical Staff Association of Makati Medical Center and an orthopedic surgeon. Please. Stand up. Sorry, I failed to recognize. Thank you. Enjoy the concert. <laughs> 